ABSSupplementLine.com. Rep Crusher! Okay, everybody, what's going on today? Uh, today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Today, I want to talk about five rappers that, if they wasn't in the music industry, they definitely could have made it in the fitness or the bodybuilding industry. Now, this random order that I that I that I've put in the place doesn't mean that five should have been two, two should have been three. But I'm going to tell you this: one should have been one. So, um, and I listen to this guy's music every day. It, he was just the uh, he was just. There, there is, there isn't any way to describe this guy. When he put something down, and when he wrote something down, it stuck. It stuck like glue to a wall. So, with that being said, I'm gonna let you guys see this random order. And keep in mind, some of the guys that you're gonna be seeing there, you gotta look through how they look. Now, you gotta look, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have a little vision. I got vision because I was once at these guys. I, I used to wear 160, 64 pounds, you know, soaking wet. Right now I'm 220, 25, close to 230. No, I'm 220, 226. That's what I'm on my way in this morning. But anyway, you got to look at their structure in general and think what would it be like if they had, if they ate the right stuff, they trained the right way, a couple of years, how how their body would dramatically change. And like I said, I got vision. I can see this because I changed my body. But without, with, uh, with that being said, let's get right off into this thing. Let's see who's made number five, number four, number three, number two, number one. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you already haven't. Share and like this video also. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you guys soon. Number five. Okay, y'all coming in at numero cinco on the list is my man Curtis, a.k.a. 50 Cent Jackson. Well, let's just talk about what 50 has going on. As you can all see, 50 has pretty good genetics because he's the only guy that I know that can lose 40 pounds, gain 40 pounds, and transition into movie roles. Not to mention, he's also on the road constantly, making music, touring, and all of that good stuff. As you can see, he has traps, biceps, triceps, arms, shoulders, forearms are a little lagging, but hey, this is, this is because... He's not a bodybuilder, but this video is about that he could he could easily become a bodybuilder. I don't know what his legs look like, but he's but he's been on the um, cover cover of Muscle Fitness, Men's Health multiple times. Here he is right here again. So he would do very well in the fitness and bodybuilding industry. Number four. All right, y'all coming in at numero cuatro is my man the game. Now let's talk about what the game got going on right here. As you can see, he's he's not a small guy. I think the game's maybe 6'1", 6'2", 230 pounds. He has chest, traps, biceps. Uh, he's just a thick guy. In my opinion, the game would be an absolute monster on the body in the bodybuilding world because I've seen him throw around 315 like it was a rag doll. So considering how strong he is, I know that he would do he would do absolutely good. Big shout out to the game. Number three. Okay, y'all coming in at numero tres on La Lista is my man LL Cool J. Now let's talk about what LL has going on. Now you can see this is another guy that's similar to 50 Cent. Goes up 30 pounds, 40 pounds, lose 30 pounds for movie roles. So this guy, this guy right here definitely has good genetics. I mean, look at him right here. I think LL may stand 5'11", maybe 6 foot. I don't know what he's wearing right here, but you, as you can see, he has chest, biceps, triceps, shoulders are flaring out, has abs. I don't know what his legs look like, but once again, hey, this is a guy that would definitely do good in the bodybuilding and the fitness industry. Number two. Okay, y'all, coming in at numero dos on the list is my man, Young Weezy, baby. All right, now, let's talk about what Lil Wayne has going on. Obviously, this is an older picture of him because he doesn't have all the tats off in his face, but this is a perfectly good example of how good Lil Wayne genetics are. I mean, he has biceps, triceps, abs, chest is already hanging out, and doesn't even work out. I mean, with the right training program and the right regimen, Lil Wayne would be an absolute freak in the bodybuilding and fitness industry. And the new division that the, that the Olympia have, the two the two ten class, he would dominate and run that doggone class. I guarantee you. But you know, this, like I said, this is a video about how rappers could easily become, you know, bodybuilders or do very well in the fitness industry. And this man, I can I can absolutely say, 
would would do some good stuff because he has good genetics for somebody that doesn't even work out. Number one. Coming in at numero uno is my man Tupac Shakur. Now, let's talk about what Tupac has going on. Tupac stood about 6'1", 6 6'2", 6 maybe 225. As you can see right here, he has a massive chest. He has traps. He has shoulders. He has visible abs. Now, keep in mind, this is a man that smoked blunts and got drunk and just stayed in the studio from nights, from hours, 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 every day without touching any weight. So just imagine what he would, what he would look like with the right nutrition and workout regimen. He would be an absolute freak of nature. So Tupac Shakur is number one on this list. Easily would have made it and, and would have done very, very exceptionally well uh, in the bodybuilding and fitness industry, just like these other guys was. Lil Wayne, you know, if he was a little bit taller, it, this was actually a tough call for me to make. But, um, hey, all these guys would do would do very well off in there. So, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my page if you already haven't. And also, check out the product line at abssupplementline.com. Until then, I'll see you guys soon.